In this video, I'm going to show you seven requirements to start your own Forex brokerage firm. Hey, it's Frank Nagy and welcome to my channel where we help financial entrepreneurs grow their business in the financial markets. If you're new here, click on that subscribe button and hit that like button. Owning a Forex brokerage firm may seem overwhelming in the beginning. A Forex brokerage registered in the Cayman Islands can be lucrative and if you have experience with the Forex and market and connections in the community, you're already off to a good start. So here are seven requirements to start your own Forex brokerage firm. Number one, business plan. You'll need a business plan for your brokerage. It is a requirement if you choose to register with the Cayman Islands Monetary Authority. Your plan should include the startup costs, trade processes, invested in money, your competition, expected profits, and a risk analysis. Number two, financial regulations. One of the most important steps in starting your firm will be to establish a legal business entity in a jurisdiction like Cayman Islands. You will also need to register your firm with the Cayman Islands Monetary Authority or SEMA for short. One of the benefits of the Cayman Islands is that you don't have to have an office on the island. You would be able to accept customers anywhere in the world except persons from the United States or any sanctioned country. Hiring an experienced financial consultant like Frank Nagy Financial Services will greatly reduce the burden of setting up your Forex brokerage firm. A good consultant will make the appropriate introductions with liquidity providers, software vendors, and provide financial management tools that will help your Forex brokerage firm grow. Number three, website. Because most Forex trading takes place online, you'll need a website that stands out and that meets the expectations of your Forex traders. Some software providers offer website templates in their packages. Number four, bank accounts. To run your Forex brokerage firm, you'll need a business bank account. Unfortunately, offshore banks nowadays are very hesitant to open up an account for a Forex business. Work with a consultant that who may have alternative solutions to combat this challenge. You may need to contact several banks before finding one that will work with you. Number five, liquidity provider. Forex liquidity providers frequently aggregate liquidity for global banks and financial institutions and other market makers. The liquidity provider you select has a significant impact on the spreads you can offer your clients. Align yourself with a provider that will help your firm grow. Your liquidity provider should have lightning speed execution to minimize slippage. Ask your provider and consultant to assist you in setting up your A and B book. For more on that, click on my link before. Number six, client portal. Your client portal, also known as the trader's room, is the software that your clients will use to view their accounts, enter payments, view forms, and upload documents. This software will be an important part of how you interact with your clients, so choose one that has a friendly and professional user interface. Number seven, back office software. The backbone of every Forex brokerage is their back office software. The software for Forex brokerages provide revenue calculation, fee management, compliance tools, partnership management, and other essential software for running your business. Through its Customer Relationship Management System, or CRM, the brokerage firm should be able to perform admin functions such as setting up workflows, receiving leads, allocating tasks, trade parameters, and risk analytics. You will need to have a liquidity provider in place along with a CRM software as well as technology bridge provider. Now a bridge provider will offer the technology to access your global liquidity providers, order routing, and manage your A and B book on your desk. If you want to learn more about starting a Forex brokerage firm, click on the links below in the description box.